Hi, we're here with Mike Ricci from LaunchPoint Technologies, which is actually a NASA contractor. Mike has been working on a hybrid electric uh, uh, internal combustion engine for planes and drones. Mike, we have uh, some examples of your technology behind us. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the point of your program and where you are with it. Okay, um, the overall point of our program is really to take the hobby systems that exist now and upgrade them to really aviation quality, airworthy systems. Uh, but the key need we see right now to bridge that, that's a long-term goal since there aren't thousands of systems flying yet. In the, mean, in the near term, what we really see is that battery electrics are really limited to 15, 20 minutes with any real payload. Um, so, and that's limited by ener battery energy storage, which just isn't as good as we want. So in the short term, we're building um, basically generator sets, lightweight generator sets for aviation usage for small UAVs. Um, and, and that's the goal right now, is to extend battery electrics to a useful life with a useful payload using a hybrid technology that we're developing. We've got some examples of some of these behind us. Um, can you take us through one of them? Sure, I will, uh, I can take you the small one. And this is a, a small gas engine and attached to it is an electric machine. It's, it's essentially a motor used in reverse as a generator. Um, there'll be electric uh, electronics coupled to this that match it with a battery pack on a DC bus. Um, these things don't just plug together. There's actually intelligent controllers required to make the whole thing play nice. Uh, once you have more than one power source on your bus, it really becomes a miniature power grid and you have all the things that we take for granted in life. There's a grid operator that stabilizes our grid. These small vehicles actually have a microgrid on them and our controllers will manage that microgrid for you. If one system fails, the other backs it up. So now you've actually got two power sources that are redundant. You can land safely even if your battery pack fails or your genset fails. Uh, most of these are like synchronous electric motors used in reverse, but you've got one special technology over here on our, um, my left. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, this is our, our top of the line electric machine. Uh, this is an extremely high power density electric machine, uh, generator in this case, and has no iron in it. It's an ironless machine, and the magnets are arranged in a thing called a Haubach array, which is an arrangement of magnets that focuses the field onto the windings without the use of any iron. It allows us to make the structure out of carbon fiber in this case, which makes it a very lightweight motor, uh, super efficient, uh, which is what we really want for an airplane, lightweight and efficient. Where are these uh, going to be used first, do you think? Uh, we are hoping to fly the small one here in the GL-10 prototype over there, maybe this fall if the funding and the stars all align right. Uh, we're really excited. The NASA guys have a great project here, and we're super excited to hopefully be a part of it. On the internal combustion engine side of this, did you have to uh, do any pioneering uh, to get the thing to work? Uh, there's a lot of little technical details. It looks like you just bolt a motor on the end of a engine shaft and it's really not that. There's a lot of details in there, little gotchas that'll come out and bite you um, until you work through it all. Gotcha. Well, great, Mike. That's great technology. Thanks for talking to us. Definitely. Thank you very much. Yeah.